Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that focuses on the impacts of food insecurity. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Many people in LIC suffer from food insecurity where they do not have access to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. The United Nations estimates that around 2.4 billion people experience food insecurity, with 900 million people facing severe food insecurity. Almost all of them live in LICs. This has numerous impacts. The first one that we are going to discuss is famine, undernourishment and starvation. Regions suffering from food insecurity do not have enough food, and in some cases this leads to famine, which is widespread scarcity of food. In extreme cases, famine can result in starvation and death, but more commonly it will lead to undernourishment or undernutrition, where people are not eating enough food to continue to be in good health. People suffering from undernourishment may have stunted growth, both physically and cognitively, and will have a much weakened immune system, making them more vulnerable to illness and disease. This in turn can lead to more food insecurity as there are less strong and healthy people to work the land, so food production decreases. Our second impact is rising food prices. Food insecurity can lead to an increase in food prices, simple supply and demand. If a harvest fails, then there is less food available, which makes other food more in demand and therefore more valuable. This means that the price of the most basic foods may suddenly increase to a point that they are unaffordable for most families in LICs, for example rice and maize. This can lead to undernourishment as families cannot afford nutritious food, so they become vulnerable to illnesses and diseases. In times of bad harvest, a country may also decide to stop exporting temporarily because they need to use their cash crops to feed their own people. This means a lack of income which would affect the economy, but it could also lead to a reduction in supply globally and therefore a rise in the global prices which will be passed on to consumers in HIC supermarkets. Our third impact that we're going to have a look at is social unrest and conflict. The increased competition and the subsequent rising prices can lead to social unrest and food riots where people react to food shortages as they become desperate for resources. Food riots are not uncommon in Africa, particularly in the northern regions and the Middle East. But food insecurity can also lead to disputes over water sources needed for food production, particularly in terms of the rivers flowing through several countries who cannot agree on how to use the water. The River Nile is a good example of this. Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia all use vast amounts of water to irrigate their crops to sell both domestically and on the global market. This provides much needed income from these for these LICs. However, Uganda wants to dam the river to generate hydroelectric power, which will help it develop economically. But at the same time, it will restrict the water flow downstream, meaning much less water for Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia. So therefore, they've got less water for irrigation and they will see a reduction in food production as a result. This can also be seen along the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, where China has been damming the river for hydroelectric power for many years, and also to stop flooding, which you can see on the screen. But 60 million people in the lower basin rely on the river, and the dams have meant less water downstream, which has lowered rice yields and disrupted fish migration in countries such as Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. The last impact of food insecurity that we are going to look at is soil erosion and desertification. Soil erosion is the removal of the fertile layer of topsoil by wind and water. It is caused by the overgrazing and overcultivation of land linked to poor farming practices. These poor farming practices occur because the most fertile land is used to grow cash crops for export. This means that local people are left with marginal land without sufficient nutrients or water for their own food supply. This land is unable to produce high yields of crops and is used extensively, meaning that it never gets a chance to recover between harvest, which is over cultivation. And it quickly turns infertile with exposed soil prone to wind and water erosion. 
Overgrazing also occurs. This is where too many animals are grazed on marginal land, which trample the land and eat all the vegetation. So there is nothing left to bind the soil together. Once animals have exhausted the land, then farmers will move their herds elsewhere for the process to repeat again. These poor farming techniques, along with drought, over time will lead to desertification. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the impacts of food insecurity. Thank you for watching.